Hi everyone, I'm Shimon Repchak, a software engineer at Callstack. Welcome to another episode of React Native Optimization Shorts, a video series showing some quick and simple React Native optimization techniques in practice. In this episode, we'll cover animation. Let's get started. Animations are another important part of our app that makes a nice and smooth user experience. We definitely don't want them to feel junky and slow because that may cost us reviews or even users. When we have a lot of animations over app, RAM memory consumption can go up along with graphic memory usage. And on lower end devices, our animation can work unexpectedly. There's a quite new tool for optimizing animation that still not many people heard of. It's called Rive and with its help, we can run animation in 60 frames per second without peak memory consumption. And it also comes with Rive Editor, which is a nice tool for creating animations. In all apps I've worked on, animation we're using Lottie. And now I would like to show you how you can easily convert your animations from Lottie to Rive. But before we do that, let's measure how much memory consumption and on how many FPS our Lottie animations are running. Here we have our React Native app um, that is using Clotty. As you can see on the right, we have great rocket animations. Our animation um, is stored in that JSON file, as you can see here. And now let's profile our app. And if you never profiled React Native app or Native app, don't worry. In guide, we have whole tutorials for native debugging. And yeah, let's jump into Android Studio and Let's see what, are, what is the RAM consumption for our application. To do so, we need to access the profiler tab. Then we need to go to our phone and find our process that is running right now. Let's just click it to see more graphs. So this is the current consumption that, that is on our app. And as you can see here, um, there, there is native, there is JavaScript, and there is graphics. There are the results for Lottie. Let's convert our animation to Rive with Rive Editor and let's see what are the results when using Rive. Here is Rive Editor, editor for creating animations and also for converting our animation. So let's import our Lottie animation here and let's convert it to the Rive format. I've prepared in the finder my animation and take a look here, it is almost 100 kilobytes. All we need to do is to just drag it here and yeah, it will take a few seconds to, to process it. Here is our animation and we need to generate artboard. Perfect. And let's see if our animation is correctly imported. Yeah, it's playing smoothly. Let's download it and import it to our application. After downloading our animation from Rive Editor, we need to make some changes in code for using Rive. Let's take a look in Visual Studio Code what we need to add to add animation with Rive. So first of all, we need to install Rive React Native package just by running yarn add Rive React Native. Then we need to import our animation to the to our app. Here is an important step because we need to put our animation in the right directory. So right now I'm presenting on Android. So our animation should be in Android project and it should be under Android app source resource and row. And yeah, here's our animation um, that we've just converted and it is 60 kilobytes smaller uh, than the Lotus one. Let's build our app and let's see how this will look like. Here is our app. Let's load it and voila, we have the same animation. And let's see right now what is the memory consumption and on how many FPS it is running. Right now we are in Android Studio app and let's start the profiler and see what are the results after switching to Rive. Let's import our app here. Yeah, this is our, our process that we want to check. 
and click here to have better better charts. These are the results after switching to to Rive. We can see that the difference is really big on the very small animation, on one animation. And just imagine what will be the difference when you have a lot of animation in your app. And thanks to Rive, the animation size is 50 kilobytes smaller. It may sound like it's a little at first, but at the end of the day, your apps contains a bunch of animations and making them two times smaller without losing any quality is a great deal. RAM memory usage went from 420 to 255 megabytes. It's a really nice saving, especially taking into account that this is just one animation. By using Rive in our projects, we get smaller RAM memory consumption, and now our animations are finally running at 60 frames per second. If you want to read more about how you can optimize your animations, go check out Callstack Ultimate Guide to React Native Optimization. It's your go-to source of performance optimization knowledge from core contributors and React Native experts. You can grab it for free and you will find the link in the video description. And yeah, that's it for this episode of React Native Optimization Shorts. To get more expert advice, make sure to download our guide and to subscribe to our channel. Next stop, Flashlist. See you there.